here's a good question and they ask you to find the vertex two ways of doing that you can uh, complete the square or you can use the uh, formula like it's been done right here so to find the x value of the vertex you just go minus b over 2a so negative this would be b this would be a so negative 18 over 2 times 3 negative 18 over 6 would be negative 3 perfect so that's the x coordinate of the vertex. To determine the y coordinate of the vertex, you take this number and you plug it in to the function everywhere you see x. In other words, you figure out what f of 3 is. So f of 3, uh, 3 times 3 squared plus 18x plus, whoops, instead of that x there, um, I'm supposed to put in a 3. Uh, yep, that's going to be a big number. So 3 squared is 9. 9 times 3 would be 27. 18 times 3, uh, is that 54, I'm thinking? Um, plus 23. So if I add those, I get 50, about 104, I think. So the vertex of that parabola is uh, 3 and 104. That's way up there. Three and way up there is going to be the vertex. Now, like I said, we could use the complete the square method as well. I'll maybe do that over here. So f of x equals 3x squared plus 18x plus 23. So what you do is you group the first two and factor a number out, whatever number is out front there. So it'll be 3 times x squared plus... Uh, that would be 6x uh, plus 23. Now in completing the square, you take the 6 and divide it by 2. Let me get a different color. Take that 6, divide it by 2, and then square it. So it's 3 squares, so that would be plus 9. And then out here, I've got to multiply the 9 by the 3 and change its sign. So 9 times 3 is 27, so out here I have to subtract 27. Hmm. I wonder if this is going to come out to the same answer. Okay, is equal to 3 times, this will be x plus 3 squared. Did I do something wrong here? Minus 4. I wonder if we did something wrong over here. Oh! No, 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 I did something wrong here, in this one. Because your x you had is negative 3 right here. I missed that negative. So this negative should have been there and there. So negative 3 squared is 9, 9 times 3, that's still 27. But this is going to be negative 54. So negative tw or 27 minus 54 is negative 27. Plus that's a negative 4. Yeah, that's not right. That would be negative 4. Okay. Um, yeah, so the vertex then not isn't 3 and 104. It's 3 and negative 4. So that's a little nicer. 3, negative 4 right there. And it goes up. So it would be going up something like that. And this y-intercept would be positive 23. All right, hope that helps. Hope I didn't mess you up with the first part.